Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have a video today with wires hanging everywhere. Oh, shoot. Dead gummit. Every time I move something on my desk, these wires hang down. All right. This is my coffee book that got started from, oh, uh, what's it? Reprint something. Wait a minute. Let me, let me go get the stuff. Okay, I had to look it up on Amazon because I cut up all the book and I didn't have the name of it. I mean, it was familiar. It's called Vintage Coffee Junk Journal Pages and Ephemera. 22 Antique Espresso Theme Kit for Scrapbooking and Collage. It's from Operation Reprint and it's a paperback book and it's $12.50. And I was, I don't remember, I, I think I was gifted this book. So I tore it apart and made myself a Coptic book using the pages from the book. I have not worked on this in eons. And I rearranged my desk so that my whips, which is if in, in knitter's term, is a work in progress. So I moved all those things that I have in little baskets, which are like four or five, and they have all the project doodads. So I moved it closer to where I'm sitting so that they're in my face. And I have to look at them every day to feel the guilt to finish them. <laughs> so this is number one. I've been working on this for four or five days. And, you know, it. I'm nowhere near being finished. And look already, my Coptic is useless. So I'm going to fill it up now. And then I will use larger uh, string or whatever fiber to sew it back together again because I don't want it to be like this. All my books end up like this, evidently. So I thought I would do a quick... Uh, um, what do I want to do? I, I'll show you how I store my stuff first. Let me, let me set this aside. Okay, so what I've been doing is I had different envelopes that have different kinds of ephemera in them. This is miscellaneous ephemera in this little envelope here. Then I have this envelope that I think, I don't remember if I was gifted this book or if I bought it, but I think it came from Tuesday morning. It was one of those 12 by 12 pads where it has everything you need to do a scrapbook page. And the theme for this one was coffee. These are stickers and uh, pictures of the stickers that you actually have to cut this, this portion of them out and they mimic the stickers here. So I put like things together in this envelope. Then I have, 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 have my white basket that says whip, whip on it. This is where I keep all the copy um, book related things. This is a seed envelope that I bought at uh, Target in their bargain thing. This is scrapbook paper. This was the back of scrapbook paper, and it has all these different sayings. This says, coffee, coffee, coffee. This says, I'd stop drinking coffee, but I'm not a quitter. That's how I feel. Coffee, black, cream, sugar, cappuccino. It just has a list of stuff. It says, uh, I will drink coffee here and there. I will drink coffee everywhere. Oh, yeah. And so these are the ones that were kind of cut short that I thought I would use words off of. Oops. And here's another one that says, uh, pour your, pour some sugar on me, coffee. This one says, I like big cups, I cannot lie. <laughs> oh, may your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. Oh, Lord knows. Anyway, so I keep all those in here so that if I need a little something, which you're going to see that I did use these. Then I have another brown envelope with miscellaneous like things that I have stamps for words I've cut out different places like this was a stamp I own and here's another stamp I own and these are stamps that I own and some coffee words from magazines then this is a little book that I made and I think I showed it in a previous video where I did the stinking book upside down <laughs> so guess what I'm still using it so there it is with recycled um, recipe paper that I uh, coffee dyed and a button on the front button on the back and I made this long enough and goosey enough that I have room for expansion see it's very loose because I know that it'll be like this thick by the time I get done and screaming for mercy 
Then I have little words in here. I have papers that I, these are uh, prints that came from Etsy. And I've had this fi these files for, I don't know, 15 years. I used to do pocket letters. So I did a pocket letter theme book with a random person. And I wanted background paper to put in all the little pockets. And these were different pictures of coffee beans. I love this file. Then I also did antique looking um, coffee pots and things like that. There's antique coffees, you know, coffees. I printed these up on different colors of cardstock. Then I got somebody who did these great designs on dictionary paper. I love this. So I did those on various colors of cardstock. And every time somebody had a coffee theme, I would slip this into one of the pockets. And there's more coffee pots. And then I don't remember if somebody stamped this for me, or I actually have this stamp, but you know, it's the Starbucks cup. That's that. So I keep those in a little baggie all together in case I need something. I try to make sure that all the things that I think I might need to work on this project are in the same basket so I don't have to go hunting. This is miscellaneous cut off cuts for different things. There's some words in there. There's um, like scraps for the other kind of papers that I'm, I save. I swear I have the Midas touch. I meant to say I have the Midas touch in reverse. I'm filming, so what happens? The phone rings. Hasn't, you know, doesn't ring all day till I turn the camera on. I know you guys know this happens all the time. Okay, so the next thing is I have stamps. This one says Latte Lover, and it's got a few little sayings down there. I can't remember what they are, but I have them stamped somewhere. Then I have this one that has stuff on it. And I have the Tim Holtz like construction looking things. I love these things. And then I think somebody gifted me this one because it has the die cuts and it has the stamps in the same packet. So I, and then I did some coffee dyed napkins. I have not used these yet, but they're still there in case I want them. So I keep everything in here. Well, most everything there because there's more stuff over here. Oh, wait. Then there's this one for the large pieces that won't fit in these. And this is different colors of cardstock and different card, different kinds of cardstock that has a coffee theme on it and it's got the red dots on the back. Anyway, so I put that in here because they just don't fit in those little teeny envelopes and it really doesn't fit in the basket. So it sits up in another basket with tall stuff in it. There's that. What else do I have? Oh. Um, I've been using this set, which was a Sizzix stamp set, where they're shaped like stamps. So when I stamped some of these things on here, where is it? Like these brown tabs, I've been using those in the copy book and on different little um, inserts. But the cool thing is, is when I stamp some of the stuff out, I got brown things that I can use for coffee themes. So I have this on the table just in case I need it later. Not everything in here will go with the coffee stuff, but different shapes will work. So that's on the side. What else do I have? I think that is it. Now for the book. Oh, wait, that's not true. I had ephemera left over from a bunch of books that I did last year or year before last, and I went digging through here today. It says Vintage Ephemera. Most of this came off a of Flickr, and I dug through it and found five different coffee advertisements that were vintage out of here. Boom, used them up. So I'm so happy about that. Oh, and then these two. I was gifted both of these. They're coffee-themed um, napkins. And I used this one already, and I'm going to use this one later. I think that's it. Okay, now the book. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, let's do the front of the book first. So, this is the Operation Reprint. Is it, what is it called? Yeah, Operation Reprint. All right, so I've got, I did a little video in the past of this, but I've added a ton of stuff to it, like pockets and inserts. And on the back of them, I decided that I never... 
I never journal on anything that I make like this. And everybody goes, oh, it's a journaling card. And then they're all blank. Not this book. This book is going to have coffee uh, trivia, coffee information. This is what a coffee bean is on the back of this that shows a bag of coffee. Somebody gifted me this, and I've had it on the bulletin board for, I don't know, over a year. And I decided it needed to go in a book. This is part of Operation Reprint. This is a stamp on some extra brown paper. I'm not going to explain everything. We'll be here all day, but nevertheless. You know, that came from Starbucks. Starbucks. So all of this is different stuff from different places. This was, this was part of a calendar. And on the back of the calendar, it would show you what was every month. Here's, you know, the fourth of something. And so I just cut these squares off the calendar and saved them, and ta-da, I get to use them. And this is what I use the different tabs for, is because I have very short fingernails right now, and I can't dig out of pockets. So this is a stamp with some paper and some cut-out coffee beans I did, and this was ripped off some paper. I had all the stuff I needed for this book already in different places. This came off a of Flickr. So a lot of this stuff has been around here forever. This is a card. And I did put reinforcement for the magnet I used on this because I noticed that I tend to tear up the paper. Here is a little book that has the coffee belly band and coffee beans. And then you open it up and it has just the brown paper inside and I made it a trifold. I might put stuff in this. I did want to leave some things blank in case I felt inspired at a later date to go back and fill them up. I left them blank. And this just goes in here. And I did put the magnet on it because stuff tends to come out of things. This is from Starbucks. This, I have this stamp. And that's just the coffee bean paper I got from Etsy. This is an image from... Um, the Operation Reprint. It is one of those Italian, what do you call them, Italian coffee pots. It's an Italian coffee pot. The only people I've seen use these are people that are making espresso. First time I saw them, I was visiting with an Italian family that I was friends with. I think this came off of Pinterest. This was a stamp. So, you know, it, there's various things in here. I wrote on the back of these. I did some research. I Googled things to see what I wanted on the back of the cards so that the book is more interactive. I don't want to just people go, oh, that's cute. What a nice postcard, and then move on. You, you need to pull the postcard out. Take a look at it. Read what it says. I love these pictures. Here's another book. I don't have a great closure for it. It's just long paper, coffee dyed paper. This is scrapbook paper. And then another tab that I cut out of uh, the coffee paper from Etsy. This is an example of the coffee paper from Etsy that I printed off on coffee, coffee dyed paper. I wanted to see what the print would look like. It's not going back in there very well. Why is it not going in there? There we go. So all this stuff came from various places. That's a sticker. And here are these little things. The, remember the black things I showed you that were all together with the black background and the white saying, here are some that cut, were cut out more neatly. And all I did was use my, um, oh, boogers, laminating machine. <laughs> and then I had a die that has the pockets in it. Just did with brown cardstock. I mean, this is nothing fancy, but it looks really cool. So I tried to make this more a black and white theme, except for, you know, a little bit of color. Another book. This is from a scrapbook, and I taped it together with some fork and spoon washi tape, sewed the paper in there to make it flat that I learned from Corey Dahman. This is an envelope that has a um, magnet again. I made this book a while ago and didn't use it because it's rather fat. But again, you know, it'll be something that'll just sit in the envelope, I guess. I don't know if I'll write anything in it or not. Oh, and this, I didn't glue it all the way down because there's another postcard with something written on it. 
I wanted it to be interesting that people want to look in the pockets. Here's another thing. This is an envelope that's really for journaling. It's folded up into an envelope. And then has a tab on it so you can pull it out of the pocket. Here's one with the side tab. This is from, oh, I think it's scrap, no, this is a sticker. And I just did it on a random piece of cardstock. And there's those little bitty tabs that I had from the um, postage stamp set or some set that made little teeny tabs. And this is a, an envelope made out of that coffee dyed paper with the coffee bean print on it. These are stamp pockets with homemade stamps, postage stamps on them with different little pictures or stickers in the middle. So these, all this stuff came from, I'm trying to use the whole pages of these up so that I don't waste any of these pages. This is um, paper that had coffee dripped on it. It's deli paper, so I cut little envelopes out of it. This came from um, Etsy coffee paper. And then each one of these is a little picture that has a saying on it about coffee. There's another one of those black little things from the scrapbook. This is just a sticker on a postage stamp. This is just a picture of a copy where somebody did the, like the, cr the cream art on the top, foam. It's just this giant thing and I was like, how am I gonna get this? It's too long, I thought, well, turn it sideways. I'm, this is the napkin that I showed you guys earlier. I made a little envelope out of the napkin. I glued the napkin onto a piece of coffee dyed paper to give it a little more oomph and then made this little envelope. There's the coffee dyed, I mean the um, coffee picture on the dictionary paper. And there's something on the back of this one, a factoid or trivia. This again came from scrapbook and I wanted to do more trivia so I did stuff in here. This is an envelope made from the paper from Operation Reprint. There is nothing in this yet. And I made the two side pocket, the triangle things that I learned from, uh, I wanna say Corey Dahman, but I'm not sure. These I ran through the laminator. This is scrapbook paper. This one is a sticker. I think, and I just stuck it right on the laminator and then ran it through it. I made this trying to like the pink side. Again, more trivia, coffee trivia. I was grossed out by some of the stuff I read about coffee. <laughs> All right, this is just another thing from scrapbook paper. Made a pocket out of the Operation Reprint, the belly band, another thing from scrapbook. I haven't put any things in there, but I will. Another belly band. These came from Flickr. And I noticed, I started looking at these. I'm like, man, these things look really familiar. That's because the lady who did the Operation Reprint, I think she got these off of Flickr because there's no copyright on these anymore. And you're going to see these on another page. This is the Operation Reprint where I just glued that onto the paper. And this, you know, I thought this was red. And then I put red scrapbook paper up against it. Oh no, that's kind of a burnt orange color. And sure enough, I had some cardstock that was that color. So it's not red. It's kind of a burnt orange color. Ta-da, look at this. This is that. This you will see, and this was... Right here. These all came off of Flickr. I know exactly where they came from because that's where I got them from. This one will be further back in the back of the book. All right, these yellow post-it notes are the empty pages. I have lots more to go still. But this is Operation Reprint paper. This is part of the napkin. I just poked out the, um, punched out a circle. If there's velcro on it another envelope out of a another cut 
Velcro. This is a, a homemade stamp and this is just a sticker that was in one of those little plastic envelopes I showed you earlier that was holding coffee ephemera. This is a picture off of, uh, I think this came from an Etsy file that I bought for the coffee ephemera pocket letters. And so I had one of these left. I have two of these left and I cut it out and then I used the same piece of paper and did that and then just used the walnut stain around it. Here's an antique coffee grinder. I love these things. I actually have one of those. Then I had this really cool looking um, paper and I went ahead and cut three pockets so I could put little stuff in them, like the little stickers and the little fake postage stamps with a sticker on it. There's a sticker, it says so sweet. And then this one's just a, uh, let me see, is this one? Yep, and it's just a sticker, or this one I had to cut out by hand. And this too, those were not stickers, I had to cut those out. And this was a sticker, this and this were also stickers. Um, this I've had a long time. I was waiting to find somewhere to use it and I decided if I had all these green things, this would look cool. Plus it's all Starbucks. Um, these are cut off of Starbucks cups. So I had three of them and I decided that they needed to be used. This one is just the brown paper. And there's another one, it's like this one. I'm recycling. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this came off of the vintage stuff. This is just a, a piece of paper that I glued on there. It has a coffee and coffee cup. I'm looking for something to fill this with, but it needs to be special. All right, so as you can see, I still have a lot more to put in here that I'm at, you know, I've been working on this a couple days, so I'm still trying to get more things to put in here. But once I fill it up, this thing's going to be like this. <laughs> and then I'm really going to have to tear all this out and re-sew it, which just thrills me to no end. Okay, so that's the progress on my coffee book. I might put this away for a while until I feel really inspired with it and then move on to another... Um, whip or work in progress that's in a basket over there. I have a black and white book, a leaf book, the coffee book, and then the color signature book. The, those are all, well, the color signature book, the only thing it needs is um, covers. Let me show what, let me come back and show you what I ordered for that. Okay, so the color signature book, I ordered myself some craft text came in turquoise, green, blue iris, orchid, marsala, and tangerine. Now these are not exactly the colors I needed because I have a yellow book. Well, the yellow one has some orange in it. Marsala, I guess I use for the red. That could be the purple, the blue, the green, and I don't know what that is. Anyway, so here's what I got. It is not like suede text, although it feels like, it says on here it's um, pre-washed hand dyed, pre-washed, and it's a cross between leather and paper. It says it was hand dyed and pre-washed in Italy. It's pre-shrunk, pre-washed, eco-friendly, tear resistant, and so much more. So here are the colors. And yes, there are places like this are wrinkled. I was reading on what people do. And the, the nice thing is these people know that I'm Un, un, unskilled at this and it tells you how to wash it and redo it and it says that some of the dye might come out but it says you can put it in the washer and the dryer and I'm like oh horrors I don't think so so I may hand wash it in the sink to minimize bleeding and um, then it says you can lay it out flat it says you, you can iron it on a setting if you'd like to flatten it out once the it says, once the craft text is washed, it will retain a texture surface, surface even after ironing. So I'm happy about that. But I was thinking about using this for the covers for my color, except for guess what? Too skinny when folded in half. And this is not tall enough for my books. So. That was a nice experiment. And look, this one, this one absolutely has to get wet. It is so crumpled up and so, 
creased that, you know, I can't make a book out of it looking like that. It's the only one that's in there that really looks that crazy. So, I think I'm going to try to figure out how to use these. Let me get the color books. And show you what I mean by it's too... I can't get anything in there. See, this is... I fold it in half. And then if I do it this way, my books are still a wee bit too tall. I'll have that much at the top on every one of them. So, that's a bust. <laughs> Anyhow, so, you know, I, I am still working on books. I'm slowly getting them finished. Because, starting the 1st of November, um, two of my friends and I have decided to do another no-buy year. Uh, and I guess what we're going to do is only buy stuff to replace what we have broken or run out of that we use on a regular basis, which is fine with me. I have enough stuff. I think I can make it a year without buying too much. Glue might be one of the things I have to continually order, but I don't need scissors, rulers, markers and stuff. I might have enough to make it a year without buying another marker or a pen, maybe <clears throat> a couple of years. Um, I've got enough paper to, you know, to gag a horse. Uh, I got enough ink. I think I have everything I need. Anyway, so I wanted to give you a, a status report on this and then tell you about trying to find covers for this because remember I showed in the videos that this is just, it's, it's, it's not wide enough because... You know, it's like the signatures that ate New York. Alrighty, so there we are. There is my update. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'd really appreciate it if everybody watches it through to the end. I could use the, the view time because I really am trying to make it to the 4,000 viewing hours. Yeah, it's viewing hours. And I'm nowhere near where I need to be. So I'd appreciate it if you watch the whole video all the way through. Thank you, everyone, for watching it. I appreciate it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.